today we are working on the movements that will help us fire from the hips while running. We're going to, our first move is to stabilize the hips. We're going to do banded hip jacks. Uh, you're going to stand on one leg with a neutral posture, making sure to drive the big toe down into the floor. Place your hands on your hips to feel for any tipping in the pelvis while maintaining stability on one leg. Move the other leg out and back at 45 degree angle from your body. The motion is continuous, not a static hold. Move the hip only as far as you can with zero motion in the pelvis. As you become more stable, aim to move the leg farther. We're going to do 12 on each side. All right, now jumping jacks. We're doing 10 jumping jacks and that completes our first set. We're going to start again. Remember to try to keep your pelvis in line. We're not holding this move, we're moving continuously. Switch sides. And jumping jacks. Don't want to bring your feet in too close together because those bands will start to slip. Remember we're moving our leg at a 45 degree angle towards the back. Imagine you have a full glass of water on each shoulder and you want to avoid tipping or moving from the spine or pelvis so you don't spill a drop. Ten jumping jacks. We're done with our bands. On to pigeon hip extensions. Get into a pigeon position. Rest the knee of the leg extended behind you on the floor. Bring the forward leg horizontally below your torso and rest your lower leg on the floor. Use it to make sure you aren't cheating with your back. It is not necessary to drop low, even if you are quite flexible. Without moving your pelvis, tighten the glutes and raise your back knee off the floor and move your body into extension at the hip. Keep your back foot on the floor. You're going to maintain tightness in the glute as you lower the knee back to the floor. We are going to do 40 reps on each side. Now, it's easy to contract a muscle and shorten it uh, to get your knee off the floor, but it's so much harder to lengthen it under the contraction, lowering the knee down. Keep your glutes active during the entire movement and you are going to feel this one. 40 reps and really keep it tight when you're lowering down and raising up. Think about it, this is really a mental 
exercise, you really have to concentrate to keep that flex in the glutes and in your hamstring. Keep going. I know it's getting hard. Or switch sides. So bring the forward leg horizontally below your torso and rest your lower leg on the floor. We're going to do 40 more reps. And when we get to the end here, you're going to be really feeling it. You'll probably be a little bit shaky. I really want you to push through and do these and concentrate on that flex. Keep your glute flex uh, as you're raising your leg and also as you're lowering it. This is really building your glutes and it's going to help you become a better runner. Keep going. I know 40 feels like a lot, but we're not doing multiple sets. We're just going to do 40 and move on to the next move. Don't lose your concentration. Think about holding your glutes tight. We're almost there. Keep going. All right, that's it. Slowly reverse out of the position. We're going to go on to frog bridges. We're going to lie on our backs. Put your legs bent in front of you at roughly 90 degrees and the soles of your feet together with your knees open. Clasp your hands together and extend your arms toward the ceiling. Now press your hips up as high as possible without arching your back to engage the glute max. We are doing 50 reps of these. I know it sounds like so many, but you can do it. Remember to breathe. And again, just a reminder, you don't want to be pushing up so far that you're arching your back.
This is how we build endurance. Doing 50 reps all at once. We're not doing multiple sets, so this is it. Stay focused. Engage the glutes. driving up at the hips. Don't quit on me yet. We got a few more. Keep going. That's it. Now we're going to get our Swiss ball out. We're going to do Swiss curls. To do that, we're going to lie on your back. Put the Swiss ball under your heels. You're going to lift your hips into a bridge, keeping your spine straight. Now, without changing the position of your hips, bend your knees as you press your hips up. At the top of the movement, the soles of your shoes will be on the ball and your thighs will remain parallel with your torso. Don't let the hips flex up. If you feel any tightness in your low back, drop your ribs slightly. We're doing 10 and taking a quick rest. We're gonna repeat three times. All right, let's get started again. I have my arms at my side. Feel free to go ahead and clasp your hands up top again similar to the frog bridges whatever position feels most comfortable for you all right take a quick rest This is our last set. We're going to do 10 more Swiss curls. All right, you can get rid of your Swiss ball and we're going to stretch it out. Move into the butterfly pose. Grabbing your feet with the soles of your feet together. Move it closer into your groin. Reach your hands out in front of you, 
Hands flat on the floor, leaning forward with your head down. Slowly reverse out of the pose. We're going to move into a half butterfly. Stretching one leg out, toes pointed up, the other leg bent inward. We're going to reach our hands out onto the floor and stretch. Slowly reverse out of the pose, back to starting position, and do the opposite leg. You're going to rotate your body, lean down, hands on the floor, head down, toes up. Feel that stretch. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale and exhale slow steady breaths through your nose reverse out of the pose Moving on to the baby dragon, put your hands and knees on the ground with your hands flat and your fingers pointing forward. Keep your spine and neck parallel to the ground and your eyes looking down. Step your right foot forward toward the front of your mat if you're using one. And position your foot Step your right foot forward to the inside of your right hand, aligning your right knee directly over your right ankle. Extend your left leg behind you, allowing your hips to drop down. Keep your left knee on the ground and your arms straight and lift your head to look forward. Slowly reverse out of the pose. As you return to your starting position, then repeat with the opposite leg. Bring it down into a child pose. Move your arms back. This move is a little bit more advanced. Our toes are together, our knees are slightly open. We're resting our shoulders down on our knees. Head is on the floor. Try to relax. 
move out of the position slowly. And that's it for training our glutes and hips to work together.